Disclaimer This is an imagination written by author's perspective. It has nothing to do with real life. It's only for entertainment purpose. I own the storyline and narration. So please don't copy and repost my work. Thank you. He forced himself on her. Now she hates him and she wants to do complain against him. But right now she can't do anything because of him. Meanwhile, Mr. John, he is drinking his evening tea and just then he looked outside from his room window and he saw an old lady who is sitting under a tree near their house gate and she is looking at their mansion. He called guard in his room and asked him about that old lady who is your grandma, Mr. John, who is that old woman, he said while pointing towards her from the window. Guard, she is sitting here from yesterday and I asked her to get up from here but she is not listening to me. She is saying that she wants to meet you. Mr. John, then why didn't you allow her to meet me? Why didn't you inform me that someone wants to meet me? Guard, I am sorry sir but I thought that she is just wasting her time and she will waste yours too. And she didn't have any appointment. That's why I didn't allow her to meet you. Mr. John, it's okay. Now call her inside. I want to talk to her. Guard nodded and went outside to call her. Guard come towards her and she looked at him with hopes in her eyes. Guard, you can go inside. Mr. John is calling you. Your grandma got up from there and started walking inside. Finally, now she can meet Mr. John after waiting for one day. She is sitting here from last evening. She wants to meet Mr. John because now only he can help her. Because police is not helping her. She thinks that Mr. John is a bad man. But she is totally wrong. Mr. John is only bad for bad people. He is so kind and helping. But outer world don't know it. They only think that he is rude and arrogant and he is so dangerous. But still your grandma decide to talk to him no matter he is dangerous or what for world. He only wants you back that's why she wants to talk to him and she want to tell him about Jungkook. She is so angry with him. She thinks that because of Mr. John's support he is doing this all but Mr. John is totally unaware of this. She wants to tell him that she wants her granddaughter back. Now your grandma is standing in front of Mr. John with angry eyes. Mr. John, I am so sorry because of my guard you waited so long to meet me. Your grandma didn't say anything. She is just looking in his eyes with anger. Mr. John became confused. He have no idea why she is looking at him like this. Mr. John, what happened? Confused. When he asked her that, suddenly her eyes started getting teary and Mr. John became panicked. When he saw tears in her eyes, Mr. John, what happened? Why are you crying? Grandma, what you can expect from an old lady whose granddaughter got kidnapped by a rich spoiled boy? She is saying this for Jungkook but indirectly. Mr. John again became confused by her answer. Mr. John, who kidnapped your granddaughter? Tell me, I'll help you. He said with angry eyes. Grandma, think once more. Would you help me? Mr. John, definitely, I'll help you. Just tell me who kidnapped her. Your grandma chuckled and Mr. John got more confused. He can't understand her words and action. Grandma, your son, Mr. John, my son, shocked. Grandma, yes, your only son, John Jungkook, he kidnapped my granddaughter, Vyan. What? Shocked. Suddenly, someone shouted from stairs, and when they looked back, they saw Mrs. John with shocked face. Her eyes became teary, and she quickly came towards them. Mrs. John, no, my son can't kidnap any girl. No, no, this all is lie, crying. Mr. John, wait, let me ask her about everything, then say something. 
Mr. John, are you sure my son kidnapped Wyan? Grandma, yes, he kidnapped her yesterday evening. Mrs. John, but why will my son kidnap your granddaughter? Grandma, he kidnapped her because he loves her. He is obsessed with her. I am not lying. Please find my granddaughter before he do something bad with her. She said while joining her hands in front of them. Mr. John, wait, let me call him. Then he dialed his number, but he is not picking his calls. Mr. John again tried, but this time it switched off. Now they are also believing your grandma. Mr. John, why he switched off his phone and he didn't come home from yesterday morning? Mrs. John, he told me that he is going to his friend house and he'll come in two days. Mr. John, let's go to his room. We should check his room. I think we can find something in his room. Mrs. John nodded and then they three went towards his room. When they went inside his room, they all started checking his room. Mrs. John was going towards his wardrobe. Then she saw some painting behind his bed. Mrs. John, there is something behind his bed. Mr. John come towards bed and took out that paintings and they all became shocked when they saw your painting in his room. Grandma, she is wine. She is my wine, crying. Now everything is clear that Jungkook is obsessed with you and he kidnapped you. Now Mr. and Mrs. John both are feeling so bad. They can't believe that their son can do this kind of thing with an innocent girl. Now they are feeling ashamed because of him. Mr. John, please don't cry. I'll find your granddaughter. I promise nothing will happen to her. And I'm really sorry for all this. Mrs. John, yes, we are so sorry, crying. Then Mr. John called his men and ordered them to find Jungkook's location and tell him immediately where is he. Then everyone started finding him. Time skip. Right now Jungkook is feeding you food forcefully. Your all body is covered with marks. You lost your all energy in just one night. He was so rough with you last night. Suddenly someone opened the door forcefully and you and Jungkook both became shocked because of loud sound. You saw some man wearing black come inside with guns. Then you saw your grandma is also coming inside and she ran towards you and hugged you tightly. You both started crying in each other's arm. Then you both broke the hug. She saw marks on your body and she started feeling pain in her heart. Then suddenly Jungkook's father come towards him and slapped him hardly. Everyone became shocked. Mr. John, how dare you Jungkook? How can you do this with an innocent girl? He said with teary eyes. Then his father and mother come towards you and both hugged you and asked you that what happened and what he did to you. Then you told them about everything, how he married you forcefully and how he forced himself on you. His parents can't believe that their son can do something like this. Jungkook is also crying because he is feeling guilty. He is feeling so bad when he saw his parents head down with shame. Mrs. John, Jungkook, I always teach you how to respect girls. Then how can you do this? I can't believe that you can do this. From now on, please never call me mom, crying. Jungkook, I am so sorry mom and I am also sorry Vyan, but I love you. That's why I did that, crying. Mrs. John, this is not love Jungkook. In love, you can't force someone. You can't hurt them. Then Mr. John called police and police took him with them. Mr. John make fair decision. Jungkook and Jimmy both went to jail for five years and you and your grandma both started living with Mr. and Mrs. John because now they treat you as their own daughter and they are also helping you in achieving your goals. Now they don't have anyone so that's why you are living with them.
I didn't told about Jungkook in the end because I don't know what you guys want. If you guys want to forgive him, then do it. And if not, then it's also your choice. Thanks for watching.